later watching some tape. How are you feeling about things? You know, I thought it was a good start. Um, you know, the big thing we got to do is move on. You know, that's one thing you got to do as coaches is uh, get that one behind you, good or bad. And, and, you know, it's easier to move on when they're good like they were, uh, like, like that was on Saturday. But, but you know, we, we're, we're not worried about that as much as we're worried about Toledo now and how we need to play and prepare for that game. I guess, I guess I was a, a toy store, actually, and my kid just they, they're talking about being you know, 70 points for Are you kind of – Taking back, you know, there's so much buzz by 70 right now around here. Yeah, you know, that's that's good, but but again, our focus is going to be uh, is, is having a good week of practice and getting ready for Toledo. Uh, you know, and, and we'd like to, to, you know, to excite people every week what we're able to do, and, and that's just uh, going to take a lot of work and a lot of a lot of guys, uh, you know, coming out ready to, to practice and focus and. You know, and we've got to get that behind us. Like I said, I think that's the biggest thing you have to do, uh, good or bad, is, is be able to move on and, and uh, realize that that was one game. Uh, you know, and I think that we've got to get better at that. You know, I think last year when we stunk it up so bad against BYU in the opener, I think it took us three or four weeks to get over that. And, uh, you know, and we got to make sure it doesn't take us three or four weeks to get over this game. From a layman's view, it looked like things went maybe as smooth as I've ever seen them on the sideline, not just this era, but any era. No timeouts, no guys running in late. Was it just is that a product of playing an Idaho team, or is that just a product of what you guys tried to drill in? And no, control? I think it's just, you know, it's just the guys being more confident in what they're doing. You know, I think it's something that, uh, you know, as a coach and staff, I think it's something that Coach Stoops really stressed to us was making sure that we, uh, you know, we're well prepared in our substitutions and our packages and that type of thing. And, and, uh, you know, we worked hard at it, and, and uh, you know, David Nickel and uh, Mike Smith did a good job on the substitutions on the sideline, and, um, you know, I thought Willie played at a fast tempo, and I think that's the thing, uh, really, any, any offense needs to play at a fast tempo, you know, uh, you're more comfortable, guys play better uh, when they play faster, and so for us, uh, it's going to be important for us to do that, you know, all year. The, the second half, I thought was a little sloppy, you know, I think we used two timeouts, uh, you know, to keep us from getting some uh, delayed game penalties. And that's, you know, that's Matt Scott uh, not being a young guy, but that's something that we're, we're really need to get fixed and we're going to work hard to address and, uh, you know, get him to get down the scrimmage and, and pick up his tempo for sure. Toledo struggled last year, giving up a lot of points, even more so than I actually. What do you expect from their defense? Well, I, you know, they, to me, they've got, uh, they've got, first of all, they've got really fine defense coaches. Uh, you know, the court has been around a long time. Uh, we played them when I was at Texas Tech in a bowl game in East Carolina, and they got after us pretty good. Uh, you know, and so, you know, he's been around, you know, it's a lot of football, and, and they'll be extremely well prepared. You know, this will be their first game, and they'll have some looks for us that, that we're, uh, you know, won't be ready for and, and uh, won't be expecting, but we'll have to, to, you know, be able to adjust. And, you know, and they're going to have some, some different guys playing. You know, if you go back and look at last year's Tech, uh, a lot of guys that played for him last year that were underclassmen aren't necessarily starting for him right now. So there's been, you know, competition in spots, and, uh, which I think improves the, the whole team. And it'll be a completely different Toledo defense than, than they had last year. How'd you like being up in the booth? Thank you. Okay, no problem. I liked it. I thought it was good. You know, uh, just to me, it's just uh, allowed you to, you know, kind of, uh, it was probably better, honestly, when we didn't have the ball. I could, I could talk to guys and look at charts and find out, okay, here's what they're doing. And, you know, and have a chance to sit down and, and really focus on calling the game instead of worrying about substitutions or, or really, you know, talking to players and trying to keep them excited. So it was a lot different, uh, but, but it certainly made it easier to call the game.